Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ash and Leather. I want to show you some leather wallets and other leather goods that we're shipping out today. And we're gonna start off by comparing the darkest shell cordovan color with the lightest. The first wallet up here today is a Johnny the Fox in 100% black shell cordovan. So we've got black shell cordovan on the outside as well as black shell cordovan on the inside. This one has been personalized for RM. And here is the lightest shell cordovan color. This is a Fat Herbie in natural shell cordovan. You can see the natural shell has a little bit of life to it. It's got like a little bit of orangey tan uh, vibrance to the color where a lot of natural leathers are a little bit more taupe and pale. And you can see as I shift this around and angle it and bounce the light off it at different directions, the color kind of changes. So some angles, it's a little bit lighter and more yellow. Other angles, a little bit more of these orange tones pop out. Now here's the darkest non-shell cordovan leather we have. This is a leather called Black Dublin. It's a veg tan full grain leather from Horween. This one's also been personalized for CBW. Thank you so much, CBW. What's notable about the Black Dublin leather is all this figuring and grain character on the Dublin. It's very different than the shell cordovan, which is very polished and shiny and smooth. The Dublin, because it's a full grain leather, you get a little bit more texture. On the inside of this wallet, we have black horsehide latigo, and I think that pairs very nicely with the black Dublin on the outside. All of the wallets that we make are hand finished and waxed and burnished. So you get a really nice sort of polished look. And here's another wallet that is sort of everything flipped backwards. This is something we call all reverse shell cordovan. This is a Johnny the Fox in color eight, all reverse. So we flip the leather backwards. If you look at the inside of the bill slot here, you can see the intended side of the shell on the inside here is that burgundy shade, the color eight. If you flip that backwards, you get a little bit more of this orangey tan on the outside. A lot of people like this because they want to showcase the Horween ink stamp. I also like it because you get an interesting sort of natural range of color and all these random die marks. Let me give you a look at the inside, which shows it off even better. Take a look at the card holders here where you get these die splatters and different shades of color. It makes the wallet really unique. Here's another light shell cordovan color. This is a leather and color called Whiskey Shell Cordovan. It's a little bit darker and a little bit more golden when you compare it to the natural shell cordovan. So natural shell on the right, Whiskey Shell on the left. This wallet style here is a little bit more of a minimalist style. This one we call the Bugs Moran. And here's another Bugs Moran, but this one is an incredible piece of a more rare shell cordovan color. This is the Garnet Shell Cordovan. And the Garnet Shell Cordovan is the most red color of shell that Horween uses. Some angles, this color appears a little bit more dark and more similar to the burgundy color of the color eight shell, but this one definitely has a lot more reddish undertones. You can see at that angle here, take a look at that card holder, much more red than the card holder on the left. If I spin this around, I have a feeling it's gonna sort of do the opposite. And that's a really interesting thing about the shell cordovan is the directionality of color. And here's another thing that we're shipping out today. This is a Chicago comb. This is the model one comb from Chicago comb. It's a carbon fiber comb and we've made these nice leather sheets in English tan Dublin to pair with these. So much great stuff to ship out today. This one is a really special small batch Bugs Moran with a really nice piece of color eight shell cordovan on the outside and on the inside, we've got incredible random variation of a color eight reverse interior. Now let's get a look at some of the stuff on the table here. Let's start off with a key fob here. This was a special order made for our 10th anniversary. This leather here is a reverse black shell cordovan and the customer really wanted a little bit more of this sort of acid green shade of the marbled black and all the marbled leathers that we do. In fact, marbled leathers, the reverse cordovan, they're all a bit random. So if you're looking for something specifically, just send us a message and we can work with you on the color. This one has our 10 year anniversary stamp. You can take a look at it there. We're not offering this anymore. All the orders placed in July this year, we allowed people to pick up this stamp. We have a couple more key fobs here with that special 10th anniversary stamp. This leather right here is really special. It's a brand new version of the shell cordovan and they're calling it in inverted violet shell cordovan. So the leather is actually finished backwards. So you get the random die marks on the shell side. The inverted violet sort of ranges from a tan sort of natural color to a little bit more of this purple color. And the last 10 year anniversary key fob here, this is a special piece of Dublin in a green color. It's sort of like Coke bottle green. Really like this shade. We also made a wallet to match this one. So here's the wallet in the green Dublin. And the green Dublin has a darker surface color. That's because we finished a wax layer on the surface and it's got a little bit lighter pull-up color, a little bit more of a vibrant green. This green is on top 
with some natural chrome excel and i think that pairs really really well let me give you a look at the inside too we've got the same color scheme going on with green dublin on top of natural chrome excel hidden card slots this is a custom wallet if you're looking for something custom maybe a custom pairing of leathers maybe a different custom stitch color um, any sorts of textures we're happy to do that for you just send us an email and speaking of custom wallets check out this guy let me see if i can remember what this is this is reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan with a horween measuring machine stamp on top of black reverse and that's a little bit more of the greenish color of the black reverse on top of violet shell we have that same color scheme on the right side here with a great horween ink stamp in the center the 10 10 year anniversary stamp and on the outside of this tony the ant we have black marble shell cordovan and again the color range on this is a little bit more green per the customer's request it can be a little bit more orange sometimes um, but this one the customer wanted a little bit more of that acid green color on top of the violet shell cordovan in the center here and we've got a lot of belts shipping out today the first one i'm going to show you to, here today is a color eight chrome excel and the color eight has a little bit of that purple uh, but it's definitely more brown and color eight has become synonymous with the word cordovan in fact the color name cordovan is probably what you think of when you see uh, this color here so color eight chrome excel is the same color as the color eight shell cordovan just translated onto a different leather it's got a little bit of these reddish purple undertones with a darker brown surface all of our belts are single layer belts and they're made out of an extra thick piece of eight to nine ounce chrome excel these are unlined belts so they're extra comfortable here's another one of our belts this is one of the more popular colors for us english tan dublin on this horween leather belts there are size holes on the other side here there's five holes and the holes are teardrop shaped, which is kind of how the hole is going to wear in naturally, which is why I like it. And the last belt to show you here, this is natural chrome XL. This is one of the more popular colors of chrome XL in the world. It's a really nice taupe shade. I have a few pairs of footwear made out of the same leather and I really like it. If you're interested in picking up a belt and you need some help with sizing, definitely send us an email. But the best guidance that I can give you is to take your jean size, most likely go up two inches from your jean size. Our belts are, fit to that center hole and they're true to size so if you're looking to pick up a belt and you don't want our help <laughs> you can size it by measuring from the pin of your current buckle to whatever hole that you're wearing and whatever size you measure there is the size you're going to want to order of belt from us here's another natural chrome excel piece and we've been selling a lot of watch straps this one here is an apple watch band so the apple watch bands are fit to the larger Apple watches. So a size 44 is the current large size. We don't make the smaller straps because these lugs here are just uh, not the right size for the smaller Apple watches. We do have this hardware in two different colors. This is the silver version here. We also have black hardware. And again, just like on our belts, these are unlined. So they're extra comfortable and they tend to mold nicely to your wrist because they're unlined. Here's another really cool wallet. This is a special small batch Capone money clip in tumbled natural shell cordovan. The tumble show cordovan is also a more recent addition from Horween. This is a sort of skip Horween's mad scientist experiment of what would happen if we took some natural shell cordovan and tumbled it in a drum. And the result of it is you get this interesting textured effect and it does sort of shadow and tip the color uh, on that texture. So the peaks and valleys are a little bit different in color and I think it makes it even more interesting. Now here's our best selling wallet. This is a Jai the Fox in the English tan Dublin leather. We have a hard time keeping this one in stock and the English tan Dublin is just such a beautiful orangey tan shade. I really love this leather. It's full grain so you get incredible natural grain character and a great burst of color because down the spine here when you flex it we're mobilizing the waxes that were finished onto the surface and we reveal a little bit more of these orangey tan undertones. And on the inside of this giant of the fox we also have english tan dublin but this is tanned on horse hide to keep it extra thin so you get just a perfect thickness wallet and again all of the edges on all of our wallets are hand waxed and burnished so it looks like a nice piece of wood almost and I have another English tan Dublin wallet to show you. This is our Capone money clip. And I really enjoyed wearing this one when I wore it uh, about six months ago. And it's great because of these exterior card slots. Anything that you want to access very quickly and easily, these exterior ones are great for. So I like to keep my most used two cards on this side and my third and fourth most used on the back here. Anything that I use a little less frequently, I put on the inside. And this money clip is very strong. So you can hold even a single dollar or a single bill on the inside of this one very firmly. And if you have one of these Capone money clips, you don't find it to be holding cash tightly and snugly. It should hold 
incredibly well. Just take this po post out and tighten it because if the screw becomes a little bit loose, the tension is reduced. Here's another English tan Dublin piece. This is our XL valet tray and it's a little bit larger and more rectangular than our normal valet trays. And this is just a huge piece of leather. These are great for keeping at your entryway door. I like to dump all my keys, my wallets, watches, everything inside of here just to keep myself organized and you get just a great piece of Dublin to look at also. Up next here is another XL Valet tray, but this is in the color number eight Chrome XL with a really nice sort of burgundy shade. In some angles, it's a little bit more brown. It's a little bit different about this one. We've actually finished in the flesh side, the reverse side of the leather with an additional bit of color eight stain and then a resin coat to seal it off. And it gives a little bit more clean look. Here's another color eight piece, but this is color number eight Shell Cordovan. Check that out. You can probably see the difference right away between the Shell Cordovan and something like the Dublin, where the Cordovan is super, super smooth. It's almost like a, a finished mirror here. It's very nice. On the inside of this guy, we've got reverse color eight Shell Cordovan. And the reverse is great for an inside of a wallet because I like the way it wears in when it rubs together like this. It's a little bit more easily filled in and polished in on the reverse shell. And then on top of that, you get all these random die marks, all the random color. It's a totally unique wallet. One more color eight piece to show you. This is our Frank the Enforcer in color eight shell cordovan. It's a very, very nice piece of color eight shell here. So we've got two card holders on the front, one larger opening in the top center here. This will fit US dollars folded in half and then one card slot on the back. And I've got another Frank the Enforcer here to show you this is natural shell cordovan and check out the directionality of color on this guy not only is it really beautiful but i just find it very fascinating to sort of rock this leather back and forth and again the natural shell cordovan is really neat because it's got a little bit of life to it and if you want patina definitely cannot suggest natural shell cordovan enough this is the best leather to develop patina now speaking of patina i should mention our patina masters facebook group if you want to check that out go on facebook look for the ashland leather patina masters group you can find a ton of people on there right now posting photos of how their leather has worn in check out this special watch strap here this is a two-piece watch strap and it's actually a two-layer watch strap in amaretto shell cordovan and this color here is super super nice it's a nice orangey tan and we've got a contrasting black stitch with some hand whip stitching to hold everything together and the last wallet of the day is one of the wallets that i think is our perhaps most underrated one right now. We sold a few over the weekend, but this is Western black shell cordovan on top of some black Dublin. And the reason I say this is underrated is just because of how beautiful it is. I think the pairing and combination of the black Western on the black Dublin is really nice. And we did do some color eight Western shell on top of some color eight M's Chrome Excel. And I thought that was a really special two shot card case also. So hopefully we can restock some more two shots and one shots coming up soon. And hopefully you've been enjoying some of the other videos on the channel. I've been uh, catching up doing some editing from uh, our vids visits to Horween Leather and to Grant Stone. If you want to check those out, uh, I had a lot of fun visiting those places and interviewing Nick Horween and Wyatt and Josh Parker from Grant Stone. Definitely uh, a lot of information there if you're if you're interested in how this stuff is made. So thanks again for checking out the video today. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and hope you have a good one.